What is up guys? 2021 Blaze Show, day two, and we've got something really exciting to announce. Eric, you guys have got a new exclusive coming to Smoky Mountain Knifeworks. Totally excited got? to work with you guys. Can't tell you too much, but uh, winter's coming. <laughs> winter's coming? Are you serious right now? Winter's coming. Beautiful winter. That is awesome, yeah. dude. Thank you so much, Eric. Thank we'll you. see you soon. I'm here with Jason from Microtech. Jason, thank you so much for joining absolutely, us, man. Absolutely. Now, uh, we're really excited to see what you guys got going on. And we're going to come over and see you guys really soon. Yep, yep. But you got something really cool and really new. Okay. So, we're debuting this at the show this weekend. It's only been available through the custom shop with Morphe on Custom Knives. But we brought the production version of the Hera. It's not the been extremely popular through the custom shop um, really hard to get because we make you know really small runs of these things so this is pretty cool that we're actually getting to debut this at Blade Show 2021 this year that is sexy as hell that is absolutely beautiful man that is really cool folks you need to check these out I'm sure we're gonna be getting some in keep an eye out for them and check us out at SMKW and we're gonna show you more from right here at 2021 Blade Show we are here with Cold Steel I got Keith right here Keith, thank you so much for taking some time out. No problem. Joining thank us. you so, very, very much. You guys have got some really cool stuff coming up. Um, why don't we talk about it? And uh, most of this is, some of this is going to be uh, late uh, 2021, early 2022 you got releases. It. So yeah. let's go through and see what we got. We got the new Warcraft line right here. Now, this is a Sand Mai. I've got it in the 12, 7, and 5 inch coming out. All right. It's got the Secure X sheath on it. But this is a beast right here. I mean, take a look at this. That on my is hand. gorgeous right there. And oh my gosh, it it actually doesn't feel as heavy nope. either. It's no, nope. and that is a beast of a blade. I mean, if you want a, like an everyday carry on your side right here, probably the five or seven inch is just perfect. Right. But I mean, clearing brush, you could take something like this out <laughs> and oh, use yeah. it as a chopper, and that would be fantastic. Yeah, that that's your beast right there. And those handles, that's G10. Yep. That is gorgeous right there. Yeah, and then we've got uh, coming out with the 4034 in that same kind of look and feel, just more of an, an economical. Oh, that feels fantastic. And on both of them, excellent grind work and uh, just a beautiful blade shape. And I love the the heft of it. It's not then too it, heavy, but yeah. it's nice and lightweight. Bam, so it's gonna perfect. be it's gonna be easy to carry oh, and, yeah. and very easy to use. Yeah, that's fantastic. I want to show you something, one of my favorite items that we have here, and this is that trench hawk. Now this is that Andrew Demko's patented sheath, which is a really good utilitarian sheath that covers this. But this, in my opinion, is one of the most fun instruments that we have. I don't care if you're chopping things or you're breaking things or you're splitting things, but throwing this is amazing. Really? Yeah. I, I have fallen in love with that. Now we've got the competition axes, right. you know, that we, we throw. But the, the thing is, is I got a 50% advantage. I have a spike on the back of it. Stick, <laughs> stick to the board. So there is, there's a huge improvement over this. My exactly. odds are improved. But, you know, if you look at the polypropylene handle and you look at the length of it, the feel of it, it is fantastic. Oh. That's going to be one of the most durable things you'll ever do. And it does everything. I mean, it'll chop, it'll cut, it'll knife, it'll split. Again, and with it, the weight, it, it, it feels fantastic. And it it's, does. I'm, I mean, and I... So I don't know if this is done intentionally, but these scallops right here make it so that you can get in and do some really precise you stuff. You bet. That is just fantastic design right there. Well, and That's you don't awesome. realize, too, how many times that you need to split something or break yeah. something open. You know, I don't care if it's a coconut or whatever, you want to shatter. This is just dynamite for that. But what I really, I mean, my kids have just fallen in love with, with one rotation and you bury this thing. I mean, it is fun. That is you know, killer. And like I said, the sheath, take a look at this. This will slide in here, and this little baby here articulates around. Well, it covers it perfectly. And that's always the problem. You feel awkward taking a sheath off an yep. axe because it doesn't fit right, yep. or it's too tight, and then you end up just jerking it off or something like that. So uh, this is fanta a fantastic design. Demko uh, oh, has yeah. got a brilliant yeah, mind for he, that stuff. He, he's the master he's, of stuff like that. He is incredible at that. Yeah, that we've, we've awesome. got a plethora of stuff down here. Man, we got a wide variety. It's been a great show so far. That's awesome. It's new for us, new for me, Cold Steel. I just got done training with Lynn uh, out there for four days with uh, Luke LaFontaine. Yeah, Rob yeah. Lickie and Lynn, and that was an honor. That was a pleasure. I mean, I, I, I was so humbled out there. And, and what's really cool about it, is i don't know if you know my background but i come from archery you know i've been in the archery industry for 28 years so it wasn't like somebody was trying to teach me archery it was something i knew nothing about 
So this has been such a fun journey for me. That's awesome. Folks, some really, really awesome stuff coming out from Cold Steel. Stay tuned for that, and stay tuned for more from right here at 2021 Blade Show. I'm here with the illustrious Greg Medford. Hey. Greg, thank you so much for joining us, man. Appreciate you having me on. Hey, hey sports is. fans, you guys want to hear about new stuff? Absolutely. All right, Greg Medford, Medford Knife. Here we go, booth 224 at, whatever the hell are we, Blade Show 2021. Blade Show right. 2021. Check out the logo. That is killer, dude. That's the dude. freaking guillotine. This scared everybody. Like, all the union guys were completely freaking out. The Teamsters <laughs> were all worked up. The Freeman guys. Here we are anyways. I got three new knives launching this year. I'll talk to you about the two fixed blades and the folder really quick. So, we got a neck knife. It's called the Neck Romancer. Yes. Um, it comes in two different versions. Uh, obviously, skeletonized handle or with G10 uh, handles on it as well. It's got a little drop point false edge. Cool little poker. I mean, if you could sneak this into prison, you'd be the king of cell block B, probably. A neat little knife. And then uh, the next we'll move up is to our uh, Mizuchi. That's Japanese for uh, God of the Sea. This is a really cool little uh, low, uh, low footprint, full-size knife. Nice thick stock, again, with that swedge top. Big hollow grind, super nice, little handy. Try it out. Tell you, how do you like that? That is fantastic. And one thing I love about all your knives is how beefy those blades are. And uh, the grind work is always absolutely gorgeous. And that is really cool. That is that is the ideal size for everyday carry. It's a great because, little everyday I mean, knife. it's controllable. It's not too big. It's not too small. It's just, that's, that's perfection right there. So fun little knife. It's got a little nice sculpting on it. G10 handle. It kind of grips you back. It's got some jimping on the back for uh, indexing and low lighter. Uh, inclement weather and then uh, the only new folder we launched here 2021 you know we've been on lockdown COVID like everybody else and we've just been uh, making making knives like crazy to keep up with the world's desires uh, so I only knocked up one new folder this year I had the grandson one of the grandchildren of General Patton came to me and talked to me about making a knife for them so I thought about and that's why we've got this Patton command vehicle behind us this old Dodge uh, I thought about all the stuff that Patton did, and I looked at his uniforms that he had designed for his troops, and I looked at the M48 tank, and I just kind of looked at the design aesthetic, and then I tried to imagine, Patton comes to me and says, hey, would you make a knife for my guy? So it's got to be slender in the uniform, I don't want to be able to see it if they're in formation, so I see the deep pocket carry, super useful knife going across North Africa in sandy conditions, might end up in Europe, don't want it to rust in the wet snowy conditions there. So I'm thinking about all this, I draw up the knife, and then somebody in the Patton family says, uh, well, Grandpa never carried a knife, so uh, we don't want to do a knife. And so the guy, he says, well, sorry, Greg. And I was like, well, uh, that's all right. I'm going to launch the M48, and we'll just pay homage to General Patton. So we did it anyways. Nice. So instead of doing it with them and pointing people over to their site and bringing inf knowledge and information and connection to General Patton, I'm just going to do it on my own. There we go. So it's a cool knife. Um, let me tell you a little bit about it. Titanium frame lock, over travel, um, uh, over travel stop, all titanium hardware. It's got our new uh, giant Torx head uh, for our small pivot screw. It's got a reversible stainless clip. On the clip, it's got uh, Willie, his little uh, English Bull Terrier. We tried to put some yes. stuff on here. It's got um, that's a little little guy there, and then it's got his four stars for the rank he attained. Nice on the back. Made in USA, engraved into the back of the blade, really sexy. Tried to badge this up really cool. In the aluminum, it's got the tank tread uh, from an, M, uh, an M48 patent tank, which was his design. Right. So that's the, the tread it would have left in the ground. Uh, it's got M48 here, uh, and uh, the clip's fully reversible. So there's a little pocket underneath here, and you can swap it around for left-hand carry. This is a fully uh, 6061 T6 milled aluminum. It's got Type 3 Class 2 real hard anno on it in red in this version. Do it in three, four different colors. Um, it's a really nice blade, S35VN uh, blade. It's got a nice tumbled polish on it. It flips like a machine gun. Really cool grind on this knife, which we're calling a Magnus, uh, Magnus tip grind. But we take, we hollow ground the blade, and instead of rotating with the profile of the blade. I call it a waterfall grind. We go straight off the end and then 
that would leave a really fat back. So what we do is we back grind a little diamond tip on this. Yes. And it leaves a really thick point right here. So what you get is a hollow ground knife with a really sharp tip that's got a lot of steel and a, and a diamond shaped cross section right here. So we call it our Magnus grind. That's I haven't really seen cool. anything like any anything like it before and it's a way on a slender knife hollow ground with a really nice elegant sharp cutting edge to put a really tough tip on yeah, it. Give it a lot of strength right out there on the yeah. end. That's fantastic and the attention to detail is phenomenal and that's what we love about your knives. Greg, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for taking time out of your day. We really appreciate it and we'll see you soon. I know real soon. All right sports fans keep coming back. Men for Knife and Tool. Greg Menford, I'm out. We're here with Jonathan McNeese from McNeese Customs, and you guys have got some really cool stuff going on. Thank you. We're trying. Thank you for joining us. Now, you've got something really new, a prototype here yes, that's uh, going to be coming out this year. Um, this thing is gorgeous. Why don't you tell us a little bit about it? So this is the Mac 2 3.5 inch. We've had the 3 inch out for a little over a year now, so we decided it was time to hit the market with something a little bigger. So this is the hand ground prototype version. It should be hitting the market within two to three months with the production version. That Full is frame lock. absolutely gorgeous. Titanium handles. Titanium handles, 20 CV blade, thumb opener. So I got to tell you, you know, the thing that I love about your knives is the attention to detail. Every, every little bit about them is just absolutely gorgeous. And that action is phenomenal. <laughs> That's outrageous. The grind work is beautiful. Thank you. And I, I like how simple it is. It's not. That was the idea. Just yeah. clean, simple execution. Yeah. It's just absolutely beautiful. Now, when Thank are those going to be coming out? We're hoping to have these on the market within about two to three months. Okay. Yeah. That's not bad, yeah. considering where everybody's at right now right. with, uh, with yeah. production and trying to keep up. You guys are yes. doing great. We're, we're trying. It's not easy, especially not keeping it made in the U.S. That, that makes it a little harder, but but we're, we're getting it done. Now, we're talking about USA made uh, premium materials and. Uh, what, what kind of price point are we looking at for this one? This one will come in at uh, four ninety five. That's fantastic. Yep. Four ninety five. Jonathan, thank you so much for thank taking you. some time out for us. Appreciate and it. And we'll see you very soon, thank man. Thank you, guys. Right here with the one and only so LT beautiful. Wright. Thank you so much for joining us, taking time out of your day. Thanks I know you guys are busy. By. We are super excited. And yeah. so we've been carrying your product for a while now, and right. we absolutely love your stuff. And as soon as we get it in, it just flies off the shelf. Especially the bandits and stuff, and uh, this is the Genesis here. Yeah, this is the uh, Genesis. This this definitely is our flagship. Let me give it absolutely this one, uh, beautiful in a high saber, like a like a flat ground version here. This is um, probably our best selling model for sure. You know, with the thumb scallops, that gives you an opportunity to have a bunch of different grip options. And one of the things that I have always loved about this particular knife, the Genesis, is the broomstick style handle because it's so comfortable any possible way that you hold it. There's it's real simple. There's never a hot spot at all. Exactly. When you, when you have something so simple that it, it really does just fit your hand, and anyone that grabs it can, can find that comfortable grip that works for them. Right. That is just fantastic. I mean, like if you're slicing through something right there, you, it's got those scallops, like yeah. you said. It's it's absolutely perfect. And being uh, on the one eighth inch steel, so you got a nice piece of steel, but not too heavy. Right. So you got a nice balance in your hand when you're working with it. And naturally, we we sharpen our spines. Yep. For the ferro rod. Exactly. That's what I was just about to say. Oh, yeah. You probably saw me flicking it yep. right there with and my thumb. Like we, we definitely want to do the ferro <laughs> rod on there. And then uh, if you look at the whole thing, one of the biggest things that we always wanted to do was the package idea. Right. So we got with Spin from JRE and was like, what, what is the best kind of setup? I love this, the Gundy flat bottom sheet. Yeah. I absolutely love that. And given some open grommets, so if you want to put a little more gear on your sheet, right. you're set to go. Comes with a fire steel loop. And let me go ahead and put this away for real quick. Whoop. With the dangler, but the beauty of this dangler is it also can drop completely out of the way and you run it as a straight hip. So let's say you're in a situation where you really want your knife tight to and kept up inside, maybe under your coat, if you're hunting or something. Right. When you're bushcrafting, you got your backpack on, you know how the belly band comes across. Yep. You used you want to, it hit to hang a little low. Hang it a little low so it swings when you're walking and everything. This is my favorite setup. This this makes it a whole package yeah. when you have the knife and the sheath set up like this. And I, I got to tell you, that's really cool to see 
a classic design with the leather sheath, mm -hmm. but with modern modularity. That's oh, something yeah. that not a, not anybody else does, really. Right. Um, and, and that's just fantastic design work. Now, I want to ask you, mm -hmm. um, how long have you been making knives? Uh, since around 2000, I started messing around with it, kind of part-time in my basement. And actually, what I w would do is I'd go to a gun and knife show, and I would find these old knives that just needed maybe reground or handles put on and literally go home and just practice that. And man, that was a good way for me to get into figuring out how to how to make knives was, can I pre, pre or reprofile this old butcher knife, take off those wooden handles and put on antler just to see what it looks like. And the amazing part to that was I'd get it done. I'd show it to somebody who's like, can I buy it? I was like, well, no, no, I don't. <laughs> You don't sell knives, right? I, at the time, I didn't even think about being a knife maker. I was a carpenter. Right. So yeah, that was it. Was a great way to get started. So that's that's, that's kind of really where cool. I fell into kind of dove into it. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic, and I think we're going to touch a little bit more on that. We're planning a trip up to come and see you. Oh, absolutely. And uh, I think we want to dive a little bit more into that later on. So, LT, yeah, thank right. you so much for taking time out of your Man, day. Are we glad to be back at the Blade? We are glad to be back Man, to normal a year life. Off, right. Right. <laughs> hey, wishing you guys best of luck. Check out Smoky Mountain stuff. They got the coolest knives around. And thank you guys for being a part of our world and keeping us. You know where we're at. Thank you for buying our product. Thank you for supporting Smoky Mountain and the LTWK. We really enjoy that. Thank you. We're here with the guys from SE Knives, Randall's Adventure and Training. We got Patrick Rollins, Shane Adams here. What's going on, guys? How you doing? Good to see you. Doing good. Doing good. Um, so uh, we just put out our video from our advanced bushcrafting class, and that was a phenomenal time. Great time. I'm looking forward to coming to take another one of the classes again. Come back. Now, you've got something here that uh, we have had a really hard time getting, and that's uh, brand new, right? You've had a hard, everybody's had, we've, yeah, well, we've had a hard time getting it, if, yeah. I'm, if I'm being honest. Uh, so this is our uh, new offering uh, for our Zula and S35VN, uh, something that we've had in the works for a long time. I mean, you're gradually going to see us expand uh, with S35 into some of our smaller knives, but uh, we've got the Zancudo, we've got the 3, we've got the 4 now, so this seems like a natural progression. Yeah. Where it goes from here, we don't really know. Uh, beauty of this knife is it's covered like all of our other other SE where you're gonna have our same lifetime warranty no questions asked maybe some questions asked sometimes just because we like to know what's going on and and uh, if it a kinda, flamethrower was involved or well something. yeah if there's a flamethrower involved that's information we like to know uh, or, or uh, I don't know uh, excavator or track hoe or something like that it's always good to know kind of the circumstances but but uh, so we're, we're pretty excited about this is ready to ship to dealers we've got dealers fighting for it right now and so I would expect to see this on dealer shelf probably in about four weeks that is awesome and that's great news for us we are really excited about that and uh, we've actually got a new video coming out from uh, our trip with you guys um, with uh, James Gibson and uh, Ruben Boyer so, but both are what you're here with us in the booth yeah that is awesome so guys thank you so much for taking time out of your day we, <laughs> we really thank appreciate it Always a Patrick Shane uh, you guys are awesome and folks stay tuned for more from 2021 Blade Show. We're here with Seth from We and Civivi. Dude, Seth, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day you talking to us. You so, uh, you guys have got some really cool new stuff. And I got to say, I love the products that We and Civivi come out with all the time. The fit and finish is fantastic. The feel is fantastic. The engineering is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, and the price is great. And that's what all of our customers love about it. So you've got some new stuff uh, we from We and Civivi here that we want to go over. Absolutely. I'm going to show you guys. Uh, there's a bunch of new stuff here at the show um, that was just released, and then a, a few items that have, were released just prior to the show that are now available. Right. Um, a couple of those that are going to be available right here um, soon are these two new frame locks. So these are the first frame locks that Civivi has done. Um, they're stainless steel frames with Nitro V blades. And we've got the Knox here, and it's available with a, a black steel or a gray steel. And then we've got the Perf, which is also available in the black or the gray. That is beautiful and super lightweight. They are. Like incredibly lightweight, super thin, very unobtrusive. Um, I mean, that is exactly what a lot of people are looking for. The the action's fantastic, and it's got that new Nitro V steel that everybody's loving right now. A lot of good feedback on the Nitro V steel. Yeah. 
Um, and like you said, these these guys are just your perfect lightweight everyday carry knife. Yeah, that's and they're not going to be uh, like if you are wearing slacks or something like that. If you're going to church or needing to dress up for dinner, it's not going to be something that's going to really weigh you down. And that's yep. that's a fantastic design. Really like these. Yep. <laughs> Another lightweight design. This is a Ferrum Forge designed. Um, call this one the Stylum. This is a double detent front flipper. That is fantastic. So a new take on a slip joint type yep. type style. Again, and keeping it keeping things fresh. And that is so phenomenal. And golly, that action is insane. And one handy closing and can I do it? Can I get it? No, I can't. There you got it. Oh, there it, it is. It. <laughs> I just had to get around on it. And I got to say, Ferrum Forge, their designs are fantastic as well. I, I've, I love the One of my favorites is the Odium. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just I, I cannot well. keep that out of my pocket. I, yeah, I've, I've been really digging all the Ferrum Forge stuff that they've done with this. Um, from the Wii lineup all the way down through Civivi. A lot of really nice stuff. Yeah. There. So, um, we got... A new take on a on a classic from Wii. This is the um, Civivi Synergy 3. Okay? That is beautiful. So the Synergy 2 was Jim O'Young's first design that he did with Wii Knife. Um, he did the Synergy 3, or sorry, Mini Synergy, which is a smaller version. Both in the uh, both are integral titanium frame locks. So now we've got the Synergy 3, Ooh. which is a G10 Civivi branded version that is fantastic and that damascus is gorgeous it's it's incredible we're still working out the uh, all of the color combinations and, and blades in that so this one's going to be coming out later this year i'm i'm thinking right around november december um but uh, a lot of people have been looking for a budget friendly yeah. version of the synergy so that's what we got here and so uh, is it going to be different handle materials or is it all going to be... be g10 <clears throat> That's fantastic. Yep. So, in different colors in that. Mm -hmm. Damascus pack. Oh, that is just gorgeous. And what's the price point on that one going to be? These guys, depending on the, the blade and that, are going to run anywhere from this one's going to be around 130 and then there'll be uh, less than that for the... Um, uh, I don't even know which steel we're using on those yet. But it's a... Uh, whether it's a... Uh, I think it's a... Uh, It's not going to be D2. It might be the Nitro V. Okay. Um, but anyway, it's going to be uh, a little less than 100 bucks. That is super lightweight, too. Oh, my gosh. That's phenomenal. Yep. All right. A couple of new firsts for Civivi that we're uh, announcing at Blade Show here. Some new button locks. Yeah. So the, the button lock Elementum has been insanely popular. It has. Insanely popular. So we're carrying that over into some other new models. Right, right. Now, a lot of people, when we released the button lock element, have said, oh, I wish it had a thumb set or I wish it had a flipper tap. Yeah. Well, these were already in development, and we have these ready to go. <laughs> uh, like, soon, anyway. You're like, no, just wait. Just, just wait. Just wait. Right? Now, it's different, though, because that button lock elementum, one of the things that I love about it is the fact that it's perfectly clean yeah. everywhere. You know, it's just smooth. It's nice. You don't have a snag for anything. No. Yeah. And you, you just you just play with it. You feel it, and it just feels good, right? Yeah. Um, these... These are, these are a little bit different. Like I said, we've got a thumb stud here on this one. Um, this is the Altus. It's G10 D2 steel with a thumb stud. That's fantastic. Oh, and it just falls it'll, away it'll right there. Absolutely drop shot on here. Yep. It's just beautiful. And I don't even, like... Any other knife I get, uh, any other brand I get afraid. Like, am I going to be able to reverse flick that? But every time I pick up a Civivi, it just happens. It just works. It just happens. <laughs> That's beautiful. And so, yep. what's this one? Okay, this one. This one's called the Cogent. This is going to be a little bit more of a tactical version with a flipper tab instead of a thumb stud. This one's going to be around sixty-five bucks map price. Okay. And the other one's going to be around seventy-three bucks. So, um, this one, you just got the flipper Ooh, instead of the thumb stud. Yeah. A little bit bigger blade. And uh, blade steel on that one's going to be. Don't know yet. Don't these know. are still prototypes. Okay. Um, they'll be coming out at the end of the year, but uh, I don't. I don't know what we're going to use on these yet. Around quarter four. Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. And these these prototypes are using D2. Um, I think both of them have D2, but I, I couldn't tell you if that's what's going to be the final steel. Right. Right. 
There's a lot more decisions to be made. More I understand. Decisions to be made and availability. You know, like right. commodities are hard to come by. <laughs> yeah, everybody's looking at trying to figure out how to get past their production issues, and and yeah. looking at different steels is just part of that equation. It yeah. is. All right. Let's talk about some Wii stuff. Yes. Yes. Do you, want start with, do you want to start with the thug? Yes, let's start with the thug. That thing is Dude, yeah, killer. Give it to you. This I, is outrageous. I haven't I haven't talked to anybody yet that doesn't just love this knife. Oh, look at that grind work, that blade shape. That is just insane. So this is a titanium frame lock, 20 CV, uh, Matthew Christensen design. It's uh, it thing's gorgeous. We've got it available in the marbled carbon fiber like we've got right here and then it's also available in a, uh, a full titanium handle on both sides okay and then it comes with just a satin blade as well as that brush blade that brush blade is absolutely phenomenal and that's uh, 20 CV is that right yes 20 CV that's fantastic and for how small it is it fits in the hand really nice like that mm -hmm. is it looks like I mean it looks like a thug. It yeah, looks it like does. a little bulldog. I mean, it's it just, does. The name uh, is right, and yeah. the the size is right. Uh, it's just a it's a nice knife. Love yeah, it. integrated lanyard loop right there. Yeah. That's fantastic. I love that thing. A little bit of a bronzing around the the collar, pivot collar, and that sets it apart. It's yeah. Nice. All right, let's go. I'm gonna save this one for the end. Okay. I'm, I'm excited about that one. <laughs> um, here's this here's the arsenal. Is that a glass breaker on the end? You're, it looks you're asking, like it. This is the first time I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah. That it's is great. awesome. Um, I like the way that they uh, added uh, the uh, clip on yep. the back, right? Stays out of your way. Um, reversible, so you can yes. flip it to the other side, right? And that's a fantastic design. That way you... And I love that we is doing this now. That way you're not, you know messing up the aesthetics on the on the scales there yep. by oh. so this is the Ostop L design um, nice tanto blade again we're going titanium um, and 20 CV I believe yes yep. I, I just saw that I was like oh yeah 20 nice. CV yeah. yeah that is awesome I love the I love the cutouts there the lightning cuts there mm -hmm. Ostop's been doing some really cool designs with this as well um, lots of neat stuff for me I love that. That is beautiful. And you said titanium on those handles there, the frame? Yep. That titanium with G10 inlays. Yes. Yep. Now, is that going to be offered in different colors? Or it is. is. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Several different colors. We always do that. We always, always like to yeah. do options. So. Well, and if you're like me, you want something like everybody's unique in what their yep. personal preference is. So. Yep. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. This one right here, this is a new collaboration. Um, and again, this is a prototype subject to some uh, minor modifications and changes, but this is a brand new collaboration with Alan Elishowitz. Yes! yes. <laughs> and that thing sounded mean when Didn't it came it? out. Oh, Go just ahead. crisp as all get out. I love the ramp right there. It fits in the hand perfect. It, The shape of that. Love that blade shape for an, every, for an everyday carry. We've got it. Actually, let me grab another... Sorry, I had to I had to take it away from a customer. Uh, I just wanted to show you the other blade shape with this recurve. Oh thing. yeah, that's fantastic right there. That is beautiful, and again with the different colors. And I yep. love the pivot collar here, yeah. how it matches up yeah, with the yeah. liners there. That is fantastic, and again with the 20 CV blade steel. 20 CV. Um, I love too this titanium backspacer. Love the that wedge uh, right the, there. The walnut uh, cracker on the back. Yeah, that is really cool. <laughs> it is. That is really. I mean, that makes that a nice little puncher right yeah. there if you need it. Yeah, exactly. Uh, get off me right there. All right, I gotta get this back to the customer. Yeah. <laughs> that is fantastic. And what are those coming in at? They're coming in right around two fifty mat price. Nice. Nice. Well, that is fantastic. Seth, thank you Thank you so much for taking time out and talking to us about some of the of new models. We're really excited to see them, folks. Be sure to stay tuned to our channel and to our store. We're going to be getting these in as soon as we can. 
And Seth, again, thank you so much. Thanks for coming over. And stay tuned for more from 2021 Blade Show. We're here with Chris from Buck Knives. Chris, thank you so much for taking a little time out for us. Um, so you guys have got some really cool new stuff, and we've looked at some of this stuff, but we want to talk about it a little more in depth. What have you guys got going on here? All right. So I want to start out with our brand new, just debuted, 040 Onset. Oh, yes. Now, this is the one that we were talking to Tony about, and uh, we are super excited for this thing. Now, these are not out yet. They are not out yet. We're debuting here at Blade Show. Thought this would be the perfect spot to, to get a little feedback on our, oh. our new direction here. But they will be available in early August. That action is fantastic. Now, we're talking S45. S45, S45VN. With the Boss Heat Treat. Boss Heat Treat. Flat grind blade. And uh, G10. G10 top scale. And what is this? Is this that is a tumble finish steel frame lock? That is fantastic, and that action is outrageous. Beautiful design there. Now, what's the price point going to be on this? Uh, that one's going to be in your store right around 150, 160 dollars. You cannot beat that at all. That is absolutely gorgeous. And I want to say we actually just got one in to take pictures and do some video and do some uh, do some release work on it. So uh, getting to see that in hand now. Uh, I'm really excited about this one right here. That's fantastic. What else have we got here? So that was our brand new one. This may be one you've seen. This is new for 2021. Yes. Also moving into our little bit more technical EDC category. That's our paradigm shift. That paradigm shift. That is a fantastic action. Let me do that again because I want us to get that on camera. So you just you grab that bolster right there and you push it up and it pops right out. That's incredible action, and that's S35. S35 VN. Got a little bit of Cerakote color pop. Yes. G10 scales. Fantastic, and you've got it in the black, black. Um, with the gold accents as well as the uh, and then tan. You've got the desert tan. That is just beautiful, and these have been super popular. Um, we just featured these, and uh, I mean, people are going nuts over these things. The grind work is gorgeous. The, the materials are extremely good quality and at a great price too. What's that one coming in at? That one's right around 200. 200? That's what I thought, yeah. Fantastic. And even with an automatic, I, I had not actually paid attention to that, but one-handed close, that, that was not difficult at all. So um, even with, the, with it being automatic, I can still close it with one hand. Deep carry pocket clip. And it's reversible. Correct. And uh, again, we were, we were talking about this just a little bit ago. Um, it's reversible, but you know you haven't muddied up the side scales Trying because to keep it, it, clean. it keeps it clean because you mount them in the end there. That's fantastic design, Chris. Thank you so much for showing Absolutely. us these knives, and thank you for taking time out of your day. Absolutely, and uh, we really appreciate it, folks. Stay tuned to more from Buck Knives. We've got them all, and we're going to be getting that on set as soon as it comes in, and we will let you know. Stay tuned for more from right here at 2021 Blade Show. And I'm here with Corbin Lovins. He is the reigning Balasong champion from Blade Show right here, and you guys have got the competition coming up in about an hour, right? Yes, sir. I'll be uh, trying to defend my title against there we go. some of the best in the world. That is really awesome. Now, we've got a lot of Balasong fans out there, but we got a lot of people out there that don't know what that is. So, uh, when it comes to a Balasong competition, what are you judged on? So, we are judged on the difficulty of moves that we do, and we do have three judges who are in the community who do know about Balasongs. They do know all of the moves, all of the tricks and stuff. Most of these guys have been around 10 years. So, um, we got three judges, and obviously they're going to know to look for how smooth you are, if you're consistent, if you fumble the knife at all, and of course, they're going to see if you're on the blade side and you should have gotten cut, or if you did or did not. So they're going to be looking for uh, overall how smooth you are, difficulty of tricks, and how fluid all of your motions are. That is really cool. Now, so how did you get into Balasong? So. So I got into ballot songs. I worked at a restaurant and the owner's son had one and uh, he got me one for my 18th birthday and I fell in love with it and I've been flipping for five years now um, and it's the love of my life. 
That's awesome. So, when you look at look when you're looking at a ballad song, what are you really looking for? I, I mean, I know balance has got to be a big thing um, as far as the action, how smooth it is. So, with a ballad song, you want to have everything precise. Um, a lot of people even don't flip with latches on the handles due to it throwing off that little bit of balance. So because it can move, right? Right. Yeah. Right. So um, you have a lot of times you're using titanium or using G10, and then your blades. People usually use 154CM or CPM 35V or something like that, S35VN. Um, and then a lot of times if you use bushings or you use bearings, that's the two that people can use. Now bearings, the knife can get away from you, it can flip a little bit faster, but bushings are made specifically so the handles do not move up and down, only side to side. Okay. So bushings are the only thing I use. I More just prefer consistent. a nice tight knife to know exactly where the handle is going to be every time. Um, something else that I like is a good balance in the middle. So what I have is a Blade Runner Systems Select Replicant. So Blade Runner Systems is pretty much at the pinnacle of Balisong flipping. Uh, they've been around for a long time. Their motto is made by flippers for flippers. Nice. So uh, they've been in the community for a long time. But here, I'm going to set this down yeah. for a second. Give us a demonstration here. Gotcha. So what you what you like to see is you like to be right under the Zen pins with your balance. And these are the Zen pins. You have your pivots, Zen pins, and your spacer screws. You want to be right here underneath the Zen pins. You know it's balanced, like Thanos said, like everything should be. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well so, played. So we uh, always also like for the handles not to really have play in them. I do like a little bit, but not a ton. Yeah. So with BRS you always get good stuff like that as well as Palm. Squid makes good stuff as well like that. Um, but overall, it's a super fun therapeutic thing almost that we like to do. We, we don't really do it in the self-defense manner that a lot of other people did. Uh, we had somebody in the community a long time ago say that we are the 1% that flip for the 1%. We don't flip for everybody else. We do this specifically for our love of knives and our love of butterfly knives. That's really cool, yeah. and that's what it's all about. So why don't you give us a demonstration Alrighty, here? Alrighty, I can do that. I am going to take this off, though, because I don't want to screw Dude, that was insane. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. No we appreciate it. No problem. Folks, you saw it right here, and we're going to bring you more from right here at 2021 Blade Show. We're here at the K Bar counter, and we've got the one and only Ethan Becker. We've also got Joseph here with us. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to talk hey. to us. We appreciate it. I appreciate you wanted to talk to me. Absolutely. Well, we love your designs. We did a Willet Cut with your uh, BK-18. I saw that. And I uh, like, did a, okay. put it through its paces, and that thing passed with flying colors. I mean, it cut through everything. Um, we even took it bushcrafting with us to Randall's Adventure and Training. Um, yeah. Did some bushcrafting classes with it, and I love that knife. I, I keep it on me all the time now, especially you when I'm out in the woods. You didn't show up to Jeff, did you? <laughs> Jeff might have seen it a couple of times. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, Jeff did see that one. You're very open to everybody's eyes. Yes. Um, so well, that means he'll make some almost as good. <laughs> almost, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys have got some great knives. Um, we just come out, you guys just come out with the uh, with the Becker folder. Right. And uh, that thing's fantastic and at a great price point. Um, we love that thing. What else have you guys got uh, going on right now? Not much. Not much. Well, K Bar is back, what, three months? Oh, longer than that. Okay. Yeah, we're, I've been bragging about it. We're making knives as fast as we can right now. <laughs> and everything that they can get in from across town yeah. at, at the manufacturing facility goes right back out the door. It, it, right it goes in a box, and it goes in another box, and we're, it the We're brown, all just trying to catch up right now, right? And the brown Santa Claus shows up and takes it somewhere else. <laughs> exactly. You know, I mean, I like that term. <laughs> that's so, fantastic. And I've got a lot of new projects, but I've always had more projects than they could 
deal with. <laughs> okay, or wanted to deal with, right. to be perfectly honest. <laughs> and uh, and I, I, John said, if you want something new, tell me what you of yours that I don't want to make. <laughs> That's so, awesome. So I mean, it's a it's a seller's market right now. Right. Yeah. But how long it'll last, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people are. At least we're getting steel. Yeah. According to Joe. Yeah. So. That's that. Well, we were just up there um, in um, Syracuse and in uh, yeah. uh, Buffalo with uh, Crucible and Niagara up there. Yeah. And I mean, they're pumping it out, pumping it out as, as fast as they can. Yeah. And um, I mean, the business is good. It's just trying to catch up with the demand. Yeah. Um, the the materials are there. It's just the demand is so high. You see right it now. and you want it. Buy it now. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. It. Well. Yeah. And another one from K Bar that's been doing insane is the the Space Force stuff. Oh yes. Um, that stuff is taken off, and I, I'm gonna admit I I own one of them as well because. I, I had to. I had to put it in my collection. I was like, I've got to have this. It, it's too crazy not to. I think that'll be a collector's item someday. Yeah. You know, a lot of people, they see it online or in our catalog. They're like, this looks like a toy. It, yeah. Um, it's not. No, you know, it's it, not. It is still a very yeah, uh, efficient not. knife. It does a lot of good things. Do they know about the, the, the uh, red washer knife? The red spacer cable? Red spacer. Oh, so out of our shop, we have a lot of new products, too. The State Union yeah. K-Bar Custom Shop. Okay. So uh, we actually unveiled some folders here. Nice. Can we take a look at a couple? Absolutely, we can. Uh, let, me, let me grab a couple. Yeah. Of we can do a cut shot of that, yeah. They did, I think, the prettiest World War II era K-Bar. Nice. The Repro. That's awesome. And it, 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 I have to tell you this. When I was a kid, you went down to you went down to the surplus store, and they had they had drums, those big right. fiberboard drums. At Midwest Salvage, uh huh, downtown Cincinnati, there was one of uh, one of K Bar and one of Mark One. The Mark Ones were a buck and a half, and the K Bars were three bucks. <laughs> That's crazy to yeah. think about now what we're yeah. looking at. But they, you know, they were surplus and they were used. Or is that not a pretty thing? That is gorgeous. So let's talk about these a little bit. So the flipper is S35 titanium scale, some bearings. Out of the state and union shop, so a lot of handwork going into this. Titanium hardware as well. So we brought 15 of those to the show. We hope for those to become a kind of a standard product out of the State Union line. Uh, that is very well beautiful. received. Yeah, I bought two of them. He did. He was the first two sales. So, That's awesome. Uh, you know, I think that, that speaks fantastic. volumes in and of Absolutely, itself. it does. And I like the design how it, it can change from tip up to tip down. Sure. Filler tab, of course. Yeah. And. It, I like that millwork right there. It so looks is, really uh, iconic. Yeah, this is kind of yeah. a beefed up American version of our Mark 98 flipper folder right. that we currently are doing in our yeah. main line as well, which sells fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I've bought about 25 of those for Christmas. Yeah. This guy's keeping nice. us in business. <laughs> now, what about this one here? So that is the State Union Model 2 fixed blade. Uh, this is actually one of the first models to ever come out of our custom shop. Uh, it's got this S35. Got, uh, my card scales on it, Kydex sheet. And the the sculpting work on those uh, on those micarta handles is yeah. just absolutely beautiful. Oh it yeah, and, and all of them they slightly vary uh, piece by piece just because of the handwork. That right. Goes. That is absolutely beautiful work. Do you guys have anything uh, in the works? Anything new coming out? I know, like I said, everybody's just trying to keep up with demand right now. I don't think it's a bold statement to say that we're probably making more knives in our factory right now than we have since World War II. That's amazing. Uh, you know, I, I told Ethan we could probably just pump out PK2s, PK9s, um, you know, a lot of his products and call it a day and still not build demand right now. So, uh, you know, there's days we run out of Marine Corps knives, which never happens. So yeah. it's, uh, right now we're just, we're trying to keep everybody satisfied, fill that back order that's of fantastic, orders. and, and that's, uh, that's a great problem it, to have. It is, you know, it, it is hard to, to come out with new stuff and be innovative. 
some of the stuff we have been working on and planning is kind of has taken a back seat to that. Yeah. But uh, you know, we'll we'll get back at making some of that newer stuff. We see the BK40 that came out um, yeah. recently, and it's been very well received. And, and who knows what that'll hold in the future? I'd love to see that expand into yeah. you know, some some other variants. And I, I know there's a demand for that too. So yeah, uh, yeah, future's I'll, looking good. I want to see a, a, one about two thirds. Oh yeah. yeah, that would make it the perfect size, yeah. right? I mean, that yeah. would just be ideal. I mean, not everybody wears five eleven pants and has <laughs> yeah. two folder pockets. Okay, <laughs> a foot long pocket going halfway down their right. leg, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but that's a uh, you know that I'm excited about that possibility. That's fantastic. Well, thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day. We appreciate it. And we appreciate what you guys are doing for the business and for the industry. I mean, you guys are really there, like you said, pumping these products out there and getting them supplied to the market, which is more than we can say for a lot of the people in the business right now. So that speaks a lot to the hard work that you guys put into it. We appreciate it. what you guys do, too. Thank I'll you. tell you what, I miss going up to Smoky. Well, come back and see us. We're, we're ready to have you. Well... You know how long a drive it is from yeah. Montana? Yeah, that is. I got to go north two hours before drive. I can go east and then Maybe south. we can work out something to come out and see you. <laughs> That'd be great. There's a thing called a plane, too. <laughs> Airplane? Yeah. What's that? It's a new technology. I'm old. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Stay right. tuned for more from right here at 2021 Blade Show. We're here with our friends from Niagara Specialty Metals and Crucible Industries. Um, that is not Scott. That is John Cheesley. This is Bob Shabala. All right. And uh, guys, are you guys having a good Blade Show? This is a great show. Yeah, awesome a lot of people show. here. We're awesome. having a blast. Yep. And uh, we just released your video a few days ago about uh, with uh, our tour of your facilities kind of informing the public and informing the market uh, of you know what goes into making these deals and that's that's been the really cool part about getting to see that firsthand and right. and um, getting to tell the folks you know it's not just a simple process it goes through a lot of hands and it goes through a lot of checks and the quality control is there and that's why things cost the way that they do and you've got some stuff uh, on display here why don't you guys talk a, a little bit more about the a little bit about the process and a little bit about what we've got here so uh, Crucible, we do all the melting of all the CPM grades. Uh, Niagara's our partner, and they market all of our cutlery products. And so it's great to come out with new grades and new processes. And so in talking about the alloys, uh, there's various alloys. There's moly, there's tungsten, there's vanadium, there's chrome, there's sulfur. All these alloys in the certain mix give you the results you're looking for, whether you want wear resistance or corrosion or toughness. And just little tweaks of this or that, with little tweaks of heat treat, can do a lot for the materials. Uh, but Niagara does a great job marketing for us, and Mar Niagara does all the sheet rolling, and they market all of our grades. And Bob can take over from what he does to take product to the market. Yeah, so we just buy the slabs from Crucible, unload them from the truck, and then uh, roll it into sheet and plate. So we sell individual pieces to custom makers all the way up to you know big production houses. It's fantastic. And so I got to say again, one of the funniest things um, that we got from our visit was we were walking around talking to you guys and uh, Isaac asked about, um, were you afraid of somebody stealing one of these slabs of steel? And it's like, if somebody can actually pick that up and take it, they can have it. You know, it's, that's the, that was the best part about it right there. It's not a challenge. Absolutely. We don't want anybody coming no, up no, and no, trying try to do that. <laughs> no, I can tell you right now, you do not have the equipment to pick up this steel. <laughs> Absolutely not. So, guys, thank you so oh, much. You. Again, Thanks for the visit for and again you. for talking to us today. We appreciate it. Thank right. you, guys. Thank you. And uh, stay tuned for more from right here at 2021 Blade Show. I'm standing here with David from Beyond EDC. David, you guys have got some incredible products, and we are super excited to have them in our store. And you've got some new stuff on the way right here that you were just showing me, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much for carrying our stuff. Absolutely. So, uh, welcome to Beyond EDC for the new upcoming 2021, half, uh, second half of the year, and 2022. We do have three designers to present to you and their collaborations. First one is Dirk Pinkerton, then John Demko, and then we have Dylan Mattery. And let me go over some of the product we have that we're working on in this. So first, I'll start with Dirk Pinkerton. This is Dirk's Micro Sankoku. Oh. It's a small neck knife. 
We'll be including linear to get a grip extension on there. Now this is based on Dirk's variable broadhead. The same grip, a ring finger grip, with different head to fit different knees. For this one, you'll never get this arm. You can open your arm for other things while holding it tight. The blade is inspired by the Japanese Sentoku chef knife and it's perfectly suited for all kind of utility, precision cutting, uh, a, a white cut, or just your regular slicing. That's fantastic. Yep, comes with a Kydex cheese. Uh, yep. <laughs> It'll hang on your neck. And because they have uh, two different holes on each side, mm -hmm. you can keep that blade orientation in the same direction right. anytime you put on your neck. That's awesome. The next is another fix blade. I love that This is design. a massive oh. knife. This is called the Cleaver. K-L-E-E-V-R. Yes. <laughs> but as the name you know, indicates, this is inspired by the Cleaver that is present in just about every kitchen around the world. Right. A couple of things to notice that the handle is not your usual straight Cleaver handle. This is actually inspired by a hatchet or you know, hand axe. Right. So when you hold it, you can apply more force and leverage to that chopping cut to get that done. Right. That is beautiful. Oh, and uh, yeah. we uh, we definitely have a soft spot for cleavers. We've been uh, kind of obsessed with those cleavers lately. So, it's yeah. an unhealthy addiction. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably the most healthy addiction out there. <laughs> the next one, it's going to be the Gara, also from Dirk Pinkerton. You got a Makara handle, temperature neutral, never too hot, never too cold, grippy as heck, with a VG10 blade, a hawk bill, and then with a thumb groove on there. The thumb groove is going to be used to help you open this knife with one hand. You can always grip it with both hands, but you can put your hand anywhere along the thumb groove to open this knife by hand. That was slick. It's a hawk bill, <clears throat> excuse me, it's a talon point compared to a hawkbill blade. But the talon gives you that most important point. You can pierce into that precision point, precise point of where you want to start the cut and then draw cut follows. So this will be a Makarta and VG10 for the final production. All right, so let's move on to some of the uh, high tier production from Dirk. This fun knife is called the Chunk. Titanium handle, slightly contoured for grip with the S5 VM blade. Nice. Both a thumb stud and a flipper. Pops oh, open yeah. really nicely. There is a lightning cut on the inside of the handle to reduce that weight to a minimum. Oh, yeah. Even though with a even though with a titanium handle you're getting weight saving, but this feels even light, even lighter than that. And there was a very interesting thumbs up right there. I like that. It's low profile, but it's big and beefy at the same time. And it looks unique. Now, what's the price point on those going to be? We're looking at about uh, 175 to about 225 somewhere okay. in there. Because these are still prototyping. We're still working out the final right. details. Production details, right. right. And this one is one of my favorite from Dirk. It's the Contact. I've always been a Warncliffe fan, and Dirk designed some of the best Warncliffs out there. You got a titanium handle contoured with the milling on the side to help your grip and the knurling on the side to maintain that grip. You have a worn cliff with a thumb stud and you got the uh, grooves on the back to make, make sure that when you push down it doesn't slip away. There, I don't know if you will be noticed, uh, able to notice this on the video, but there is an angle between the handle and the blade. You can see that it's not a straight it's line. It's like, yeah. Yeah. This slight angle makes sure that when you hold the knife in a natural grip, that blade is aligned with whatever surface or material you want to cut. Awesome. It's inspired by the uh, by the uh, Pesh Kabez and with a modern interpretation by Dirk. That's incredible. That's a yeah. great design. I love that. So we have a full bounty from Dirk for your enjoyment in late 2021. So let's go on to the next one. It's from Jung Demko. Now, John, did, John has been learning how to design knife since a young age, and he started making his first knife during high school. So he's got quite a few years of experience under his belt, and we're very pleased to be able to work with him on the River Wolf. That's beautiful. 
broad, massive, and it just says, I'm capable of anything you throw at me, and I'm gonna crush them. That is. So broad blade with a low center point for stability and utility use. A titanium handle with all edges rounded, so there's no sharp point. It looks like a big knife, but when you flip it open, it fits into just about any size hand with ease. Like ergonomics is absolutely incredible. Now, one thing to mention on this is that we will be doing a limited series on the River Wolf. Okay. Uh, first one will be 200 pieces with a flat brand, just like the Denpo original. Okay. Uh, for every edition we run on this, there will be something different. So you may be getting the same design but you'll never be buying the same knife from one edition to the next. Nice. So we're always limited, but we're going to try something different. That's really cool. All right. And for today, the last one we're coming up with for the 2021 is the Ray from Dylan Mallory. Now Dylan has been on a just a straight rise in the knife world. Yes, he has. From just being an enthusiast who loved his collection, and he's now designing knife for we, for Artisan, and now for Beyond EDC. So a great friend and a great designer. The ray is inspired by the silhouette of the Emperor Scorpion. So if okay. you leave it alone, it will leave you alone and look just <laughs> nice with its integer handle, carbon fiber insert, and M390 blade. But if you happen to pose a danger to its owner, it's gonna sting you hard. That's fantastic. And I love those carbon fiber see, inserts. Might be my favorite. Yeah. There is a, the clip has a linear hole right in the middle. Oh. For you to tie in. That is yep. wicked. Your favorite identification linear. And it opens with a thumb hole right there. That's beautiful. Yeah. And this will also be a limited edition to be released toward the end of 2021 or beginning of 2022. That's fantastic. David, thank you so much for joining us today, taking time out of your day. We really appreciate it. Thank you for the opportunity. I love that. And, and I love working with Smoky Mountain as well. Yes, sir. And we're going to be looking forward to these new models coming out. Thank, thank you so you. much. Folks, stay tuned right here at 2021 Blade Show.